Well, I got started because I used to do gardening for as part of my uh, volunteer work for the, um, the Vermont Master Gardener Program. And so I fell in love with the place. I was asked to be part of the board here. I'm no longer on the board here, but I still have a fondness for this. And um, when we met Adam uh, here at the Hops Conference this past February up at the Trap Lodge, which is the second annual Hops Conference, and that's being done by the UVM Soil uh, Group, um, and they're trying to reintroduce hops here, and I learned more about the historic aspects. Yeah. Being involved in gardening and being involved in home brewing, I thought it'd be a nice natural mix, and I thought it'd be a good way to, uh, to education as well as, as Scott said, as a way of maybe doing a fundraiser as well. Right. You know, Vermont was the second largest producer. I mean, it's I, I kind of beat the same drum everywhere, and it's mm. you know one of the major aspects is this is the only industry you know in a hundred years all evidence of it is gone. You, you wouldn't never know now that hop, Vermont was producing monstrous amounts of hops. Uh, they were feeding a good portion of New England's breweries in the 1800s. And now the best you could find are the wild feral hops grown out in the woods, uh, just the leftovers. And it's something, you know, what's being set up today is the traditional tent canopy. Which is how a lot of farms would do it. And it was a way that you can get a lot of plants in a very small space. And what we're going to do is just get a basic primitive hop yard set up. Nothing fancy, nothing large scale, but just enough to have it as a crop that's here so that people can see what the plant looks like as it grows, can watch the progress and get a sense of, you know, what it takes to grow some hops. Eventually we hope to have a harvest. We may not have one this fall. We don't know yet. It'll depend on a lot of conditions over the course of the summer. We are using cascades, which are pretty darn vigorous and will in all likelihood give us something quicker than most others. And once we do get a harvest, the thought is to get another group together to, to, you know, to harvest it and set it up to dry. We'll package it. We'll sell whatever we have at the South Road Market and you know, send the proceeds back over to the homestead. So it becomes a, you know, a fundraising cycle, but also an educational progress process. Um, you know, and yeah. some fun, I assume. Yeah. Right. Pretty, you know, interesting for people. I do is about a foot deep dig, yeah. um, just a thin layer, quarter inch, half an inch of wood ash, half an inch or so composted manure on top of that, and then topsoil filter within an inch or two of the, of the surface. I don't know okay. all the <laughs> So what's this that's going in now? Is this, uh, this is manure. manure. Very well composted horse manure. See so, that. They will. Uh, these are all. Uh, these are all cascade. It's all going to be cascade. Yeah. Okay. Now, which side is going to go down? It's. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It'll. It'll. You know, like a bulb, it'll grow the right way. Okay. Horizontally, on the top of that topsoil, and then cover it up with another inch and a half, two inches of topsoil. We still want to leave a, you know, a, a dish. So how deep is it going to be? About two inches. We're going to. We're going to cover it with an inch and a half or two inches or so. Yeah. Or, um, yeah, would you like that and then cover it over? Yeah. Leave a dish, leave you know, leave a depression so that it will hold water. Okay. From getting out of hand. And uh, let the grounds crew know where we have some stuff. Here. Yeah, that too. Once they're yeah. up, we can mulch closer to the plants, you know, and keep. I like the way David's doing. That's how I do mine. I mark them with rocks. The yeah. Take out of the hole and light up. So, now, why wouldn't you necessarily want to put the mulch on top just yet? Right now, could, we don't want to give them anything more to grow through than we have to. Okay. So eventually, what we're going to have is one central pole and a line from each of the plantings, so it'll look like a circus tent essentially. How long do you expect before they'll, they'll start to see them come up? Um, the rain keeps up and stays warm like this. They could be up in two, three days. Mm -hmm.